Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. So you guys, I apologize that I haven't made any um, updated content. I've just been showing my new releases. Um, the Etsy shop has picked up steam and I've just been quite busy. But um, if you wanna get flip throughs, things like that, you can go to my Instagram channel, you can find me there. But let's hop right on in. As you can tell by the title, I am showing you my updated planner stack. <laughs> so this will probably be for the rest of the year. Um, I'm not certain, but here's where I am, okay? So I implemented, I started the year with just these two, which is my Motrim personal, and then my A5 from Target. Then I wanted to try out the mini HP and that became my extension of these two right here. It worked fine. I had been eyeing the pocket since the beginning of the year, but felt though it would be too tiny for me. And I still wanted to kind of give it a try. So I ordered a clear one from Wish. Still hasn't come. So I saw that this was finally in stock on Amazon. So I just went ahead and got it from Amazon. Well. I have been wanting a tool as well. And I wanted to use that just for my budget planning. I kind of miss having a, you know, budget planner. So I got this from Office Depot. And I've been, we're gonna set this up together, but I've just been trying insert ones. And so I purchased something else I bought twice. I purchased a cover for it and I ordered one on AliExpress back in May and we're about to go into July, and it still hasn't come, so I saw this come available again on Amazon, so I purchased it. So once I get the other one, I was going to sell it, but then I said I may just keep it for note-taking because um, that's what I've done here. I've just been kind of taking notes, so yeah. So let's jump in, and I'll try to be really, really quick. Okay, so first, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. So what I plan to do, I ordered a clear um, cover for this one. I was cool with this one. I actually bought some discs for this and because I knew I kind of eventually wanted to put it in one of these. So I don't know about those discs yet. So this will be my budget planner. Next up, I'm gonna go with the personal. So here's just a quick flip of my personal. So I wanted to do a setup reset up. I did a flip on my channel, on my Instagram. Whenever I'm getting ready to switch out my planner, I do a quick flip and then I update it. Well, I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to update it. So that's why this is sticking here. I made my own dividers for it. I made these myself as well, but I was ready to change. So I wanted to do pink, but totally forgot that I got these from cloth and paper. But once I got these from cloth and paper and I got some more inserts, once I got these from cloth and paper, I'm like, but is that how I really want my personal to be? So I thought about like reselling them or just holding on to them because I still will hold on to these in case I ever want to just switch the color back. So I think I'll keep them, but um, I'm going to set this planner up. We're going to set it up together. So I have a couple of setups we need to do. So not a lot has changed in this planner since you all seen it. Um, these flaws, some uh, cards are in my shop, but they come in black. I'll show you those later, but um, I printed it out on some vellum and I really think this is the pocket size, not sure. And I think it came out just a little shorter and I just stuck it in here. But other than that, not a lot of new stuff besides this no spin tracker. Um, not a whole lot of new stuff. I still come in here because I do habit tracking in here. I have it tracked across all of my planners. For one, I love it. And um, I think that's it. And then I had this card, so I wanted to keep it in here. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put it and how I want to put it. So a video will be coming up of me um, setting up my personal. Next up, we have my A5. Again, I got this planner from Target. And as you can see, I have some inserts to put in. These are from cloth and paper. So this is my business planner. And like I said, not a whole lot. And I love this. I do come in here not as often. 
And I'm so glad I got the undated weeklies from Cloth and Paper for this because I don't always weekly plan in here. Um, I come in here when there's like a busy week. And even sometimes when it's busy, I'll just throw it maybe in my pocket or the personal. And I still have all the months. My only issue with this planner is that the rings are so small. I don't even, I think they may be one inch. And I wanted to get the cloth and paper quilted. But if the ring size is the same because they said they're one inch, that's not going to work for me. I need to get a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm sure I could put more in here if I take all of the these out, all of the months out. But I kind of like to plan ahead for like content and stuff like that. So this was May. And as you can see, May was kind of busy. So I decorated it. And that's another upcoming video that you'll get this week. In June, I tried to do June, but June was like a blower. Like, it just um, was so much going on. So what I've done here, this is my business brain dump. And I just go back and look and see if I've done anything. I plan out ideas. I put down things that um, I want to implement into my shop or add to my shop. Um, update, you know, like um, items in my shop, things like that or things that I just wanna do. And so this is my deco for June in here. Very, you know, pastel, soft, light. I made a key so that I could start just putting the dots instead of, hope y'all can see, instead of just writing a whole bunch of stuff. So now what we'll be doing this week, we'll be planning for July in my business planner. And sometimes I like to do this just on my own because, um, you know, nobody, I can see nobody really cares, but there may be some content creators that want to know. So maybe we'll do a plan with me for the month of July here. And I was going to do that video first, like how I plan in all my planners for the month. But then I decided, let me break down to you guys my planner um, lineup first. And then you can see each planner as I do it. And that also gives me more um, content to create for you guys. And so sometimes when I'm planning daily in here, if I have a busy day, I'll plan. And then sometimes I just want to plan in a bigger planner, which is my A5. And so I'll just come in here and daily plan. So that's pretty much it. And this is from January. Y'all have probably seen that. So here's April. That's the last time I was here, it's April 30th. And then this one doesn't get a whole lot of fluff, a whole lot of deco. I try to keep it minimal. Only time I add a lot of deco, I think, is like when I probably do it for you guys or something like that or if I'm just feeling in a fun kind of mood, but it's mainly highlighters and pen. But I do love this size. I just need something more fluffy. I've been looking for the Moturn one, something that I can kind of stuff with a soft cover. I don't like hard covers, so I like a soft cover. Sort of like the um, TNs. So I did put this project analysis in here. So the SWOT analysis in here, my goals, I haven't really fooled with that. Um, but yeah, so I do come in here, just not as often, um, especially on the go. So I think I'm gonna leave this one in the office and it doesn't need to like be with me upstairs um, on the couch. But what I like to do when I do have it, uh, let me get to it, here we go. These came in my subscription box. So also like I write down my expenses, as you can see, I like to use these half cards because they are perfect for me. I write down my expenses that I'm spending on supplies, um, brain dumping, as you all saw. So I love these little cards and they're perfect so I don't have to basically daily plan sometimes. I can just jot some ideas down, take it out, stick it somewhere else. So let's get off of that. Next up, we have my mini HP. Love this thing because it's like the perfect size. It's wider than a personal, um, just about the same height as a personal. I love the disc. I love to be able to change the disc. And I really don't want to call it a mini HP. I'll just say the mini HP size because it's far from a mini HP. It's just the mini HP size. So as you can see, I've done some layering and that's an Ollie clip. And this is from Sequence and Plans. And then this is the card that's in my shop. It's called uh, Flossom Card. 
and it's an objective an individual who embraces their flaws and knows knows they are also regardless um this dashboard i made myself this is an inspirational dashboard i just took some of my favorite um inspiration from pinterest and put it you know on a card and i used some thick uh card paper and this came from pinterest as well but it seemed like it rubbed off on there and this is on <laughs> velvet and then this came from i think it's caffeinating plans out of the minimal group and see that rubbed off i don't like that also her and these are mine so i'll just do a quick flip if i've done one through here you can always find these flips on my channel so what i did was i changed and put these in box these excuse me these dividers i made myself i wanted pink for like summer so i added pink and also the updated thing i think we did an update on here if so, I'll link it in the cards if I did an update um, of me setting up this planner. So I think the last thing I had to do was add these and that's what I did. So you've seen a flip of this. And I put in the new um, weekly by cloth and paper. I love their weeklies. I love their monthlies. And so I finally decided to invest in this planner. Um, when I made this planner, it was pretty much from scratch. The most expensive thing in the planner was the disc. And I used a tortoise shell disc by Lavender. So that's the most I had paid for this planner. Um, I downloaded inserts, um, which doesn't cost a lot, two, three dollars. And um, this is something new too as well. I'm debating on this because I got the wrong size. But um, yeah. So now I'm kind of doing month on one play page. And that's like project planning. That's like... Um, business planning so if i didn't mention which i think i did this is my um, extension planner hold on y'all it's my extension planner and i love it as an extension planner also this card is in my shop with this vellum is in my shop um right now i don't have it for download i just have it for um purchase and i print it for you on thick vellum and there you have it so I have habit tracker and I implemented that. So I cross plan. So if I had a tracker in my pocket, my personal, it comes in here as well, at least supposed to. So it's just an extension of all my other planners. And I'll just come in here and cross reference. So if I have to grab this, um, I'll be going back to work soon. So I can take this and then easily wipe down. Like Arlie Plan says, this is perfect for if you have to go out in the workplace you can easily wipe this down. Um, I went into my job the other day just for a minute and I did have this one in my purse, but I really wasn't there long and I didn't take it out. So I did just leave it in my purse. But when I do go back to work permanently, um, I'll probably be taking this one. So it'll have everything in there that I need to do. And I do have like daily planning in here. And I love the Simple and Trendy Co. Um, daily planning inserts. I took them out. Let me see. I might have took them out. No, here they go. Now this is her weekly. But those are some of my favorite inserts too as well. And then I have another uh, inspirational card back here. A lot of my stuff comes from Pinterest. My Pinterest should be below. And you can just check out my Pinterest for a lot of things I have saved. And you can just print off yourself. Um, this card came from Planner Craving, and um, it was printed on vellum, and I just ran it through the laminator to make it just a little thicker, but it's still light, which I like because it's easy to turn, and that's just for a little deco in my planner. And I still like this one right here. But I'm going to change my top tabs because I feel like they're not even, so I'm going to redo my top tabs. And then I have this, which was on my front. It started out as on my front. Oh, and I also um, journal. I use this one for journaling. So this is the only place that I journal at the moment. And so this kit is by Anika's Creative Closet. And see, I've also been journaling this week and oops, totally, totally uh, did not finish. So that's that and i like this because the discs are big and i can just put so much in here and it's not too big to be um as a 
basically cross-reference extension planner. So I just think it's the perfect size for extension planning. So that is, again, the mini HP. Let me put the cards back, the layering effect back here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. Next up is my new favorite, which is the pocket planner. This is a Moturn pocket in the lychee pink. And this clip comes from Ollie Clip. Now she stuff, I just recently did a flip on my Instagram. I added it to my highlights. So feel free to go over to my Instagram and you can check it out, the flip out in my um, highlights because I am gonna change her. Um, I'm gonna change the rings in her, but um, she, she was stuff more than this, but I couldn't turn the pages. So I just took it out so it could still be functional for me. So I'll just do a really quick flip, but back here, I just keep these little bow. I think these are from Scribble Prints Co. Not sure. I keep a little um, functional journal card from cloth, cloth and paper in case I just want to jot something down. Like I said, I like to do a lot of brain dumping, so I can just pull that out. And then these, um, this came from a kit I did, and I just kept it because I was going to sell it separate. It may still be available in my shop, but um, it's like your self care. Stickers, affirmation, mani pedi, exfoliate, face mask, shit, shampoo, hair, bubble bath, meditate, read, journal, podcast, coffee time, knit, listen to music, sleep in, go to bed early, and work out. I'm gonna see if this is still in the shop. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, let me know. But these are my self care um, stickers that I keep in here. And then this is also in my shop. Summer icons. I want to make this a little smaller. So right now this is what's in there and I'm going to probably make these smaller and double them up and I just keep those in there because it's summer and so there's things I can just add you know quick deco and then these I made for myself for um, basically um, my shop plans and things like that so I just made those for myself and then this came from eight lotus excuse me infinite lotus and then this is my um, dashboard. Do it for the aesthetic. I made a clear divider. And what I did was, okay, so to make these little top tabs, I just took the little, I think they're by Avery, and they have like, they're outlined in a color. Um, so what I did was just fuzzy cut the color off because I wanted it to be white or clear. And then I just took my labeler and put inbox there. And then here's a thick um, vellum by cloth and paper of inbox. Some layering effect. This is in my shop. You can get it cut to whatever size that you want. Uh, but it comes also in 8.5 by 11. And then this is my overview, which I have not really gotten into. So this is still fairly new. So it's somewhat naked, not really. And I pretty much use this plan to um, use this planner to just kind of daily plan. Um, it's also kind of like an overview. It's kind of some things that's in my personal are kind of in here. So it's just something for me to grab really quickly. Um, I keep forgetting to put my grocery guide in here. But um, yeah, so it's just like kind of reminders. And again, I was just testing out the size and wanted to see what all I would use in here, but it would basically be for a on-the-go type of planner. I just got these from Cloth and Paper, I mean, Peanuts Planner Co. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna use this for, but I just wanted some fold-outs in my um, pocket. And now we're getting into the weekly which only did one week, which was last week. I don't know, this week just kind of went past so fast that I kept saying I was gonna do a video with you guys. <laughs> and it, of course it never happened, so that's why I didn't fill it in. And these are Into My Habits and Daily. And I love habit tracking. I don't know why, and because I eventually believe that if I keep tracking the habits and I keep seeing these X's that I'll eventually do right. <laughs> And these are from Eat Lotus as well. And then I have another clear divider, which I may move around. And then we get into the dailies. 
and I love Daily Planet. It's just my thing. I found out about it like last year and just been loving it ever since. And here's one of the new dolls that's in my shop. And since she's small enough to go in a pocket, she's not too big. So I'm incorporating dolls back because um, I don't really miss them, but um, I sometimes want to just minimal plan, but sometimes I just need that little pop of color. And I'm more like dolls that look realistic and more dolls that look like me. So I can do that. And then you'll see some days it's just not a lot of deco. It's just a bunch of pen. And I love my icons because it goes great with the black and white spread. So yeah, so that's it. I'm not gonna do, like I said, a whole flip because there is some on my Instagram channel. Go and check it out. And then again, this is my favorite part of my, one of my favorite parts of my planner is to be able to do that and hide stuff. So yeah, so this planner basically is like a to-go planner. Again, mainly like when I go to the grocery store, it has a, a, a guide in there. It's supposed to have a guide. My zone cleaning. So this is something I can definitely carry around the house. And um, my project section, which is also one of my favorite parts of this planner. I'm going to put it in my extension planner as well. But um, I love the project planning because... Like if I'm on the go and I'm doing something for my office and if it's something that I need um, and I'm in a store, I can look and see if I need it and then definitely add to it or pick it up. And then my zone cleaning insert fits in here. Y'all, it's just a little tight. So that's why it's looking like this. So I'll be glad, so glad when I get these new rings. And then, like I said on my Instagram, this is just a thank you card from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it off and stuck this in the back and all this is cloth and paper this is schedule planners and this all pen also came from cloth and paper and there's nothing back there but I love this thing and I love to just kind of throw it in my purse and I was going to use it as a wallet but for some reason I'm just nervous about putting my cards in here and stuff and money because, well, I don't really carry a lot of cash anymore since the um, COVID, but I'm kind of nervous about putting my cards in here because the my um, wallet at the present time is smaller than this and it has all my cards in it and it's perfect. But I think what I'll do is maybe throw in cash in here because in the little wallet that I'm carrying, um, it's hard to get cash and it's more like a change purse. So imagine a change purse is that size. So this would be perfect to throw um, You know like on the go So I'm liking this and I'm gonna get some more colors so that I can kind of use it as a wallet I guess but I love the color love 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 it. So you guys that concludes my planner setup for the summer so far I'm not gonna say to the end of the year, but the summer setup and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. So this is pretty much my lineup for the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave me some feedback in the comment section. And I will talk to you later. Bye.